Let's take a look at the following objects and consider if they are alive or not. This mushroom, alive or not? This sponge, alive or not? How about this slime mold, alive or not? This cute puppy, well that one's pretty easy, but alive or not? Welcome to Moo Moo Math and Science and the characteristics of living things. Why are some objects considered alive and other objects are considered non-living? Let's take a look at seven characteristics of living things. For an organism to be considered alive, it must have all of these traits, which can also be called the characteristics of life. The first characteristic of living things is that all living things are made of cells. An organism can be made up of a single cell or of trillions of cells. Two, living things grow and develop. Cells grow to a certain size, then divide, and an organism gets larger as the number of cells increase. Next, living things reproduce and produce offspring. Living things contain DNA, which is the genetic blueprint of an organism. Living things require energy for daily activity. Living things must take in energy for growth and maintenance. Living things respond to stimuli and of the environment. Examples include waving, getting angry, the leaves changing colors, and animals running. And finally, living things have levels of organization that work together to keep the organism alive. For example, humans have cells that create tissues, tissues create organs, organs create organ systems, and this creates an organism. A cell has organelles that all work together like the ribosome and the mitochondria and the nucleus that all work together to keep the cell alive. So there we go, the seven characteristics of living things. Thanks for watching and remember, kindness multiplies kindness. Be kind to someone today.